Dennis vs Logapool might be in danger now after a insanely chaotic press conference today involving KSI vs Tommy Fury, Dylan Dennis Logan Paul. We have a lot to cover. Violence truly broke out in the press conference. Whose fault was it? Did Dylan go too far? We're gonna cover everything and more. Before we go into why Dylan Dennis vs Logan Paul might not even happen right now, so much so that he even faced off with Mike Perry after his altercation with Logan. <laughs> Let's quickly jump into KSI versus Tommy Fury. Look at me when I'm fucking talking to you. Fuck you, prick. How's that? Illumina screen. Shut the fuck, fuck up. Fuck you. You are not You should ready be stuck on a traffic light somewhere, mate. Huh? So they had this massive cage at the press conference for them to face off with glass in the middle. You're gonna get knocked out, buddy. Uh, you get knocked the fuck out, mate. See. Knock the we'll fuck see, out. Brother. Come on. 48 uh -huh. hours. 48 oh, hours, big man. 48 hours, 48 hours, 48 hours, it's over for you, it's over for you, 48 hours my friend, 48 hours. Of course though, big John Fury had to get involved and try and steal the limelight, so he steams in, starts punching and headbutting the glass. <laughs> Absolute nut job. Before this all happened, KSI and John Fury got in a confrontation where John Fury threw a water bottle at KSI. KSI spat his gum back at John Fury. <laughs> People are getting mad at KSI for spitting his gum. I mean, look, John Fury threw a water bottle, so KSI just did that. It's just a fight game. Shit like this happens. I don't think KSI is grim. I think John Fury, you know, instigated it too. So it's good promotion either way. However, let's just talk about the actual main event. You know, it really is Dylan versus Logan Paul, and it might not even happen. So we're being told. This press conference was fucking crazy. First of all, before anything happened, Bryce Hall came out of nowhere and started asking Logan how much testosterone he injects up his ass. I'm a pretty big guy. Uh, a lot of people say that. That's not true, what, even what's, remotely, Bryce. I, I'm, I'm pretty big. Look, you. Cutting I was, was going to ask, I was gonna ask how, how much you, testosterone are you injecting in your ass each week oh, for, oh, oh. in the lead up we, for this fight? It. We've heard it. Yeah. Any better question? How tall are you, Bryce? You said you're big. I want to know. I'm 5'10", but my. Nah, 5'10, you're rounded up. I'm 5'10, but my arms are like almost the same size as yours. And, and, and you doing steroids? You guys I'm not on steroids, steroids. <laughs> but, but I was asking you because like, <laughs> you have a, you a decent you. physique. Uh, oh, I'm okay. asking you how much testosterone you injected. Did you say we have the same physique? You guys have the I same said you either. have a decent physique. You have a decent oh, I appreciate, physique. I appreciate that, thank you. Yeah, no, no steroids here. I'm willing no to steroids here, no steroids here. No, I don't really have an opinion or like Bryce Hall, but I rate him for doing that. Because Logan Paul, apparently the drug testing now is only two days before the fight. Logan's clearly on steroids. Everyone can see boxing and fighting isn't a game. That's cheating. Dylan could get seriously hurt. However, this press conference, the only one getting seriously hurt was Logan Paul. Logan Paul tried to, you know, be funny, brought out Chris Hansen saying he's going to catch a predator in Dylan Dennis. You're a predator and this uh, Saturday, October 14th, I'm going to catch you. And in fact, I brought an expert because we are going to catch you. I got my oh, boy, Chris Hansen. Chris Hansen. Oh. Uh, because this Saturday, October 14th, yeah. me and Chris Hansen are going to catch a predator. Wow. Uh, that is Chris Hansen. Yo, That's he, actually and him. And he's shooting a new show called Takedown. Tax evasion. He's shooting a new show called Takedown right now, and you're on it right now, buddy. He's in jail for Dylan tax evasion. Dennis. That name sounds very familiar. So to me. I'm going to need you to take a seat right? right over there. Go ahead, take a seat. <laughs> Go take pay your taxes, buddy. I can't lie. I didn't find it that funny. I don't know if you guys did. Just my opinion. Just for his typical Logan cheesy kind of insults. However, when the two went face to face, Dylan and Logan, shit got real. Logan threw a prime bottle at Dylan, kind of looked like he was aiming for his nuts. So Dylan retaliated by doing this. Oh my 
That was a clean hit. Dylan hits him with the microphone. He hits Logan so clean. Logan can be seen. I don't know if any footage shows it. I saw one clip. Holding his head. Apparently he was gushing blood after that. Holding his face. Trying to get off the stage as soon as Dylan clocked him. Dylan actually showed a clip of Logan scouring away. And tweeted out, play with fire, get burnt pussy at Logan Paul. Showing blood on the floor after the altercation. I mean, holy shit. Look. Logan started it. Logan threw the bottle at Dylan. Dylan retaliated. What the fuck did he think Dylan was going to do? I've seen people throw mics at press conferences, throw cans, throw every kind of thing. So this isn't really a shock. Dylan just hit him with such a clean shot, made Logan bleed. And according to Drama Alert, the fight might actually be in jeopardy now. It might not happen. If that's true, I'll be fucking pissed. I can't lie. I really want to see this fight. Dylan actually faced off with Mike Perry afterwards. If that's the main event, that's gonna be so shit. But look, end of the day, Logan fucked around and he found out when Dylan absolutely smacked him with the mic after he started on him. Hard to have sympathy for Logan in that situation, really. Like the video if you agree. If you're excited for the fight, like if you want Dylan Dallas to win. If you want the fight to go through, subscribe if you're new. Every subscription counts. We're gonna be streaming the fight Saturday night. Massive watch party, it's gonna be huge. Make sure you're there. And until next time, Fuck off.